And back here at home, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi's proposed $3.6 billion operating budget for the next fiscal year includes $80 million for back pay to city workers exposed to hazardous conditions in the pandemic. Now, it's owed to union members, but the city doesn't have a final dollar amount that's owed because the two sides are still negotiating how much employees will get. The $80 million is for potential payments to essential city employees at risk of exposure to COVID-19 during the height of the pandemic. We've set that aside uh, as, uh, you know, we continue uh, to pursue collective bargaining settlements through arbitration. So we're working on that, um, you know, with the unions and, um, you know, with the various uh, employee groups uh, of the city. It's coming from the American Rescue Plan Act, or ARPA money, the feds gave the city during the pandemic. In all of these cases, uh, we, um, we carve, carved out or pulled back funding that, um, uh, for, for programs and projects that we knew wouldn't get off the ground in time. It needs to be used by a certain time between the end of calendar year 2024 to the end of calendar year 2026. The key deadline to remember is 12-31-24, December 31st, 2024. That's when the um, ARPA funds have to be appropriated or they, they call it obligated. So you need a contract behind it or you have to have received services or provided services and you have you know invoices that have to be paid. The mayor says they probably aren't going to spend it by then. But at the end of the day, $80 million allocated for one thing is $80 million that could have been allocated for something else. I mean, that's, that's the reality of it. And that's so we, as a form of almost triage, if you will, that's how we set our priorities on what was feasible. <coughs> Blangiardi says other municipalities are doing the same thing, but exactly how much back pay will be owed is still up in the air. Right now, the tone is good. The mood is good. We'll see where we come out.